In this video, we'll be making a parakeet cellular uploader for Night Scout. The guide assumes that you've built an XTRIP before and programmed the Wixel. The main resource page has everything you need step-by-step -step instructions. You'll need all the soldering materials as well as the parts of the parakeet. And that includes the Wixel, the GSM module, which you can get from eBay, a LiPo charger, either from SparkFun or you can use the one from Adafruit. Then you'll need a battery that can handle a 2 amp draw over the entire discharge cycle of the battery. The one I used is from a quadrocopter and we've also ordered others from AliExpress that are lithium ion. Then you'll need a box to put it in, tape it down or glue it down. Next we're going to wire everything together using 30 gauge wire and solder it according to the diagram provided. When we do the battery, we want to splice the connections, but do one at a time, solder the connections, and have shrink wrap tubing to cover those connections so that nothing shorts out. After that, we want to test the battery by charging it in a fireproof area to make sure the battery doesn't heat up, or the wires, or the charger itself, and to see that it will charge up completely. Next up, we'll go back to the configuration pages to set up the cloud receiver on Google App Engine. Make sure you're signed into your Google account first. The cloud receiver works as a temporary data store to bridge between the Parakeet and the Extra Plus app. Once you're in, you're going to create a project and give it a name. In this case, it's My Parakeet Project. You don't want the updates, and you do agree, and then create. After a few seconds in the blue bar, you'll see my Parakeet project show up. Once that happens, you'll see when you come back over here that you'll have a project ID my-parakeet-project. Next, you're going to click on the Cloud Shell icon, which will give you something like a command prompt. Just follow the instructions and wait for install success. Next up, we want to download the Wixel software. Once downloaded to your downloads folder, what we want to do is extract it using some extractor, I use WinRAR, and extract that to your desktop. When you double click on that, you'll see the apps folder, then Dextrip, and then the actual file we want to use on Dextrip.c. Use Notepad++, which is installed with the Wixel software. And you want to navigate to that particular folder and get that file. Once you open it, scroll down to the area where we can make our changes. This part should look very familiar. It's very similar to the Xtrip software. We change our transmitter ID to whatever we're using at the time. Then next up, you want to use your project ID from your Google App Engine and just replace that part. Then we'll go down and change the security code. It has to be five digits only, not six. I use 54321. Then you want to use the APN for your cellular carrier. In my case, I'm in Canada, we have to use Rogers. So Rogers has a big long APN address. However, if you're using Ting in the States, Theirs is much shorter, and it's 
wholesale. Lastly, click the Save button, and then you can exit. The next thing we're going to do is navigate back to the Xtrip folder. So what we do is we go down to My PC, then to the C drive, then to Users, then to Owner, then to Desktop, and then to the Wixel folder itself. going to need that for the next step as a path that we're going to follow. So go down to the search bar and type in CMD and click on command prompt. In this command prompt we want to navigate to the same folder by typing cd space c colon forward slash forward slash users forward slash owner forward slash desktop forward slash wixel extra parakeet gsm modem. Once all that's typed in, you want to hit enter. And that'll direct the focus to the folder that we want. The next thing we'll do is type make underscore all dot bat and hit enter. This will compile the code into a usable file that will write to the Wixel. Once that's done, you can close that window and you'll see that we've created a Wixel file with a blue icon. Next up, we're going to plug in our Wixel, open up the Wixel configuration utility, it will appear in this area. I'm not going to do it this time. But then you open, navigate to the file we just created with the blue icon, hit open, and then write to Wixel. Your Wixel will flash and show success. Next up is to install the Extra Plus app using the latest APK. Once that's done, go to your settings. And as a hardware source, you want to select the Wi-Fi Wixel. Then go down to the list of receivers and enter in the string exactly as you see it, including your transmitter ID and your five-digit security code. Next up, you want to use the REST API string just like you did in the Xtrip app previously. Now to test things. Once plugged in, the yellow light will flash on the Wixel, waiting for a signal from the transmitter. Once received, things will go red. Flash back and forth between the Wixel and the GSM module, trying to transmit. Once there's success, you'll see that the Wixel will change from red to a solid yellow color for a few seconds, and then it'll go out, waiting for the next signal. At this point, make sure you have started your sensor and now wait for signals and then success. It usually takes about 90 seconds to appear on Nightscout if everything is set up correctly. If it doesn't, check your strings. It's always the strings. Once that's done, you can put your parakeet together in the box using double-sided tape. What I did is I glued my charger down through a little hole that I drilled and then glued it down to the bottom to be secure. Then I glued the Wixel and the GSM module to the battery so that it could be easily removed if I have to. Lastly, put the top on it and start charging. I built the original X drip last January and then built a smaller version and now the parakeet. I used the small version of the X drip with the Melrose phone and now the parakeet with my phone. Thanks for watching.